A month since social services took five and a half year old son of an Indian couple from Oxford, there is still no hope in sight for the distraught parents. A week after knocking the doors of the Indian High Commission and getting no concrete response, the parents have now approached the British MPs for help in regaining their child's custody. The move is a last ditch effort by the helpless parents who have been running from pillar to post after their son was taken away by child social services. The child is believed to have told school authorities that his father was doing bad things but the couple denied the allegations and claimed that the child might have meant his father's smoking habits the parents uh, say that uk authorities are misinterpreting the child's statement and it's a case of cultural misunderstanding even as no help has been forthcoming from the indian high commission which is awaiting orders from the foreign ministry support is now swelling up from several people of the indian community and local political circles i don't think they understand our culture what is indian culture and hindu culture how we brought up our kids and they need to be understand that they need to give a training to their staff i think that's why they are the victim of that and hopefully through media the local council they will wake up and they will start understanding how to treat different communities the different cultures i think they are victim of that misunderstanding and um, as far as i know about the what I find out the story today, I feel it, yes, it is, because they talk about equality, and it's not equality. If they're not been given a chance to speak, they couldn't voice their, um, their concern, they, couldn't, they, they haven't been given a chance to, to talk about their own issues. Um, what I find out, they couldn't uh, complain to the police, they couldn't complain to the NHS, so I don't think it's equality at all, because it is unfair, yes. Well, let me now go across to Lavina Tandon, who joins us for more in the story. Lavina, exactly what is happening in this case? The Indian government obviously is proceeding with caution till the case is investigated and the facts are ascertained. But what's happening back there in England? Well, um, the, the parents as of now are trying to garner support of the Indian community and the politicians if possible. This is why they were in uh, Mandir yesterday and the politicians had uh, collected as well to listen to them. So they're trying to garner support. Also, they're trying to get a lawyer that would actually understand their side of the story, the Indian culture and the way the Indian children are uh, brought up. So that's happening from the... <laughs> couple's point of view. Also, uh, now, they've gone to the High Commission, and um, I'm confirmed, I mean, I can't name the people, but High Commission cannot do anything unless they get orders from the Foreign Ministry. Now, um, we have had such incidents before in Norway, and where I have covered as well. After the second case of Chandrasekhar, I think the government has become quite cautious about how to deal with this case, unless all the facts come true. And at this point in time, the father has not even given an interview to the social services. They have, he's not been asked to give an interview. He's given a voluntary interview to the police. And that's all that has occurred. And all no right. charges have been pressed against him. Only the allegations which the wife has said she was told by the social services. So a lot has to come through in the case. And at this point in time, the family is trying to garner more support um, in the, on their side.